Pear Dex Flashcard Factory. It's an amazing tool that will likely change your life and make vocabulary review in your classroom terribly exciting. You start Pear Deck Flashcard Factory by visiting this URL, PearDeck.com. All right, on this screen, I'm looking for starting a vocabulary list. I can create the list ahead of time using a Google Sheet. And on the sheet, column A would be the term, column B would be the definition. But for the example of this um, Pear Deck tutorial, I'm just going to do it all live. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is come up with a list. My word, uh, my vocabulary list is going to be called pets. So my first pet is going to be puppies. And I will define them as tiny dogs. All right, my next one will be kittens. And I will define them as small cats. Just trying to change it up a little bit and keeping it fresh. All right, my next one is going to be fish. Um, not too entertaining. <laughs> Sorry, that's judgmental. All right, now I'm going to click play flashcard, flashcard factory. And it's going to create a website for my students. So what I'm going to do is plug this into my projector. And once I see it up on the screen, I'll click OK. And then have my students go to the website called joinpd.com. Our students will see this website, joinpd.com, and they'll enter these letters in. Here the letters are QSYCW. That can be tough for students to see, so you could also read quick submarines yield confused watermelons. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Have you guys entered yours? Yeah. Not for compliance. Good. Here you can see I have two workers in my flashcard factory. You can do this with a whole bunch. I've done it with almost 30. Now I'm going to clock into the factory and let's see what happens. Are you guys excited? Yeah. All right. Now, if there were more than two students, they would be put with pairs automatically and it would appear on their screen. But because they only have two students, they're separated by day shift and night shift. They're going to compete to do some pretty amazing work. Are you ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Let's play. <laughs> Okay, so these kittens, puppies, and fish are dropped into their screens, and their job is to write an example of the pet and draw a picture of what the pet is doing. Let's see how they're doing. Okay, so as students complete their flashcards, they'll drop down onto this conveyor belt. You can see up here in live, the live feed that I have one out of three. As soon as students are done, they should be clicking the box so that it enters their submission. Here comes one. Oh, and another. How exciting. All right, to move things along, let's say everything looks great. I'm going to click quality control phase. In the quality control phase, I, the teacher, see the student work. Here, the students can also see the student work. And what I'm going to do is decide if these are good. This doesn't look like a very good puppy because of the size of the legs. I'm going to dismiss that one. <laughs> this puppy is exceptional. So I'm going to ac accept it with the green check. Here's a kitten. It's not very good. I'm going to reject that kitten. Finally, we're finished. I'll export this file to Quizlet. Um, we'll call it Pets. We can make it public and publish it without anything. So this will allow me to push it directly out to my Google Classroom page with this link right here. The Quizlet link for students pulls up the flashcards and all of their ability to use the sweet stuff that Quizlet has to offer. Any words that were rejected will also still appear at the bottom, but they will appear without pictures. So here's kittens and fish. The pictures weren't good enough, so they still get my terms and definitions, but they just don't get the nice pictures. That's it. Enjoy.